Kentucky fans, the United States, and Newfoundland. Well, good Saturday evening and welcome to Hockey Night in Canada. Indeed, it is the biggest night of the week in the game that we love so much. So many meaningful action tonight, points, playoff implications. We've got four for you, as you heard off the top, on four different networks early and a beautiful late game tonight. First, to set the scene for Winnipeg and Toronto, Scott Oak at the Air Canada Centre. Okay, George, while the Leafs are playing out the string here, the Jets cover the two points tonight to strengthen their hold on a playoff spot. They'll have the versatile Dustin Bufflin at forward on a line with Shifley and Stafford to start the game. Michael Hutchinson, winner of his last three starts, is the Jets' goaltender. Leafs get Joffrey Lupo back from four games out with an injury, so Brandon Cozen has scored the only goal of the game for the Leafs in Carolina last night is the scratch to make room for Lupo, and Jonathan Bernier bidding for his first win in 11 starts has the Leafs' net to David Amber in Montreal. All right, Scott. Well, George just mentioned playoff positioning. What about the Montreal Canadiens? If they win tonight, they regain sole possession of first place in the Eastern Conference. It will not be easy. Alex Galchenyuk, he's out, joining Parento, Gonchar, and Yemelin for Galchenyuk, a second straight game missed due to the flu. Not good for a team that has scored two or fewer goals in nine of their previous 12 games. The good news is they have Carey Price in net tonight, one of the best players in the game. Against the Jackets, who are desperate for points. Ten points out of that final wild card in the East. Playing much better of late. Curtis McElhaney in net. Three straight wins for him. Let's go to the nation's capital, Ottawa. That's where we find Arash Madani. And, David, that's where we find the Florida Panthers. Only a point out of the final wild card spot. Brian Campbell said, I think we have a great shot. We have to play with a sense of urgency the final 25 games. Meanwhile, for the Senators, Matt Pumple is the third Ottawa player to make his NHL debut this week. That's going to continue. Brian Murray wants to call up three or four more prospects by season's end to get an evaluation and also some incentives to the kids going into the summer. That's it from Ottawa. Gene Principe is in Edmonton. For us, thanks very much. Uh, Bruce Boudreaux, coach of the Anaheim Ducks, wouldn't tell us who the starting netminder would be. He said, watch warm-up. And so we did. And as a result, we know that John Gibson will be the netminder of choice on the part of Anaheim tonight as he will get games back-to-back -back nights in Alberta after recording a win last night against Calgary. As for the Edmonton Oilers, they will be making some lineup changes after they looked uh, flat and tired last night at home against Minnesota. The look for energy from tough guy Luke Gazdick. They already have a Jordan Eberle. They'll have a Jordan Osterley in the lineup as the former NCAA defenseman makes his NHL debut tonight. Redmonton against Anaheim, George. Oh, you glorious men and you glorious work. There you go. Puck drop and a homecoming ceremony. What Hockey Night in Canada happens next. We welcome those of you watching Coast to Coast on Sportsnet, but especially on Prince Edward Island. It's the Panthers and the Senators, and two of PEI's native sons are behind the bench tonight. Dave Cameron grew up in Concora PEI about 20 minutes down the road from Gerard Gallant, who joked this morning, I'm from the big city in Summerside. They knew each other as teenagers, both working for Doug McLean's hockey school on the island. Gallant Younger, better friends with Cameron's younger brother, Charlie. They met in the 2011 Memorial Cup Final. Gallant St. John Sea Dogs victorious over Cameron and Mississauga. And tonight, Cameron told us, a lobster supper is on the line between the two Islanders. A cheat meal back home, Gallant joke. Two Islanders facing off with the Senators and Panthers meeting on Hockey Night in Canada. Bob Cole and Greg Millen have the call for you next. But first the anthem, first the anthems with Lyndon Sluage here in our nation's capital. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight by the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting. Oh, 
We welcome you to this city, a cold 17 degrees, that's down low, in Ottawa on a snowy evening. Hopefully it'll warm up the Atlantic Division matchup tonight. Florida Panthers knocking on the door to the playoffs. One point behind Boston for a wild card position. Ottawa another eight points back. Starting in goal for the Florida Panthers is Roberto Luongo. He has a record of 22, 14, and 10, and has lost just once in regulation in his last seven starts. Making his second career start for the Ottawa Senators is Andrew Hammond. Hammond won his only start by making 42 saves in Ottawa's 4-2 win over Montreal on Wednesday. The referees for the game, Eric Furlag, and TJ Luxmore, Andy McElman, and John Grant will work the lines for Ottawa in red. It'll be Tura, Stone, and McCulloch to start with Carlson and the thought. And for Florida, Barkov, Boyd, Huberto, Camper, and Goodbranson are the two defensemen. Florida getting the puck in deep to start it off. Not in there very long with Kyle Turris taking over, getting plus the line, the first big test. For Luongo, blocker save, looked good. In behind the net, that's grabbed quickly and flipped up to the far side, and it'll be cleared by Boys. He'll come to center, got across center and dumped it in on the goal, and there's the first stoppage as Hammond decides to hang on to that. Well, he's got to be a coach of the year candidate, in my opinion, Jerkalon, getting this team right in the middle of a playoff race after you talk to anybody across the league, I don't think that many thought that this team would be ready for quite this much success yet as they're very young. A great communicator, a terrific coach, started in the NHL, went back to junior, had great success in St. John, and here he is back in the NHL. And he's going to take his team after this game tonight to Pittsburgh for a game tomorrow against the Penguins. Then on to Chicago. Then home to Chicago. So a busy time coming up. Number save by Luongo. Stick save this time will go up over the glass into the netting. Dave Cameron. First you heard Rash talk about the connection between the coaches. And I think he's done a pretty good job keeping this team focused. One thing about the Ottawa Senators, they may be out of a playoff picture, but they are working. Ashill won that draw, then couldn't knock the puck down. The Panthers take over, shot around the net, around the other side it goes by Boland and all the way down the ice. You see Hemmings waved off, so Florida Panthers will forecheck hard. Condor goes after the puck for Ottawa, flip one to the line, that'll get them going. 
Down comes Pajot across the line, waits a bit. Maybe too long to make the play, and it went in behind the net. Centered back out front, Condor was out front, so was Pajot. Another save by Luongo. He's been the hot goalie for Florida. Fired on the boards, gonna be cleared by Upshaw. Scotty Upshaw got the puck out and took off to the bench right away. Quick change. Cowan ripped it back in his own zone. The NCC, the two defensemen for Ottawa. Changes have been completed. That is Bukesad, number 27, four checking. Can knock that down, it's a high one. Gets in there and turned around by Shane O'Brien. Not out, good chance for Ottawa again. Down, Luongo got the puck and then lost it and it got out in front of him, but they covered for him. Loose puck, nearly a bad giveaway, but it was clear on the board, still not out of the zone. Kept in by the Senators, slapped high, and this puck will go out of play over the glass back there. Well, the Florida Panthers a little hurt on the back end right now, and a giveaway here, good work, and Luongo lets out a rebound, which is uncharacteristic for him, but if you're wondering one of the reasons why the Florida Panthers are where they are at the moment, it's because of their goaltender. He has been absolutely terrific and makes the first two difficult saves in this game. Hummel is number 26 for Ottawa, getting his first shift in the National Hockey League with leg wand, taking the face off throw now. Chiasan comes in to take it, can't win it. On the boards it goes up to center ice. Pesky brought it across the line and shot it in around the net. Couldn't catch up to it. Sends turn it back. That's Carlson again leading the attack. In over the line it goes and off the boards. He centered it. Nobody could pick that up. It's back out and down inside the Ottawa blue line. Nearly three minutes gone in the first already. And the better chances so far by Ottawa. Luongo showing signs of being hot again tonight. Another save by him right there from close in. Gopeski got the puck ahead and out to center ice. They can't control it. Leguan grabbed it. Just backed it up a little bit and he'll go around the net. Over for Carlson. Back there again. They were changing and Carlson waits. Flipped a little pass ahead to the line and away goes McCulloch. Just knocked it in wide of the net hoping to catch up to it. Nearly did. Beaten to the puck, and Campbell shot it around the goal again. Ekblad put it ahead, down through center ice. That was a bit too high for Huberto to knock down. That's an icing call against Florida. Now well, the former Peterborough Pete, Matt Pumple, gets his first shift in his first National Hockey League game, and he's a guy that can score some goals. He's had good success putting up numbers in the American Hockey League, and he gets his first chance, and yep, well, the Ottawa Senators got him. The old tradition that happens often in hockey, let the rookie go for a little early skate in the warm-up, and then the rest of the team joins in a moment. Turis against Barkov on this face-off. Now they're going to stay, it looks like they will. The linesman drops the puck. Ottawa with a face-off win. Shot fired high and wide of the net. Behind that goal, Stone tried to dig it out, and he will. Coming from the corner, left it back there in the backhand pass. Nobody saw that in time, and Campbell for the Panthers had to go back. Played back out from the corner again. The Panthers unable to get much going. Campbell gives it up on the long pass down the ice across center, dumped in by Brad Boys. That going around the net. Barkov got in quickly to pick it up. Put a pass in there for Huberdo. He couldn't make a move against Churis. Right in front of the net, a quick pass got out in front, all right. And Hammond was tested right away, very, very quickly, as the puck was uh, out in front. The Fleischmann, for anybody knew where it was. Well, a giveaway here by Turris. Good work by Jonathan Huberto to get down low on the play. Good hunting of the puck, and boy, two centermen, three, three center senators go chasing. Weirkos goes behind the net, anticipating a pass. And that left Fleshman all wide open in front. And what a great save for Hammond to start the game. Was it ever. Still no score in this first period. Back to head by Cowan. That didn't get out. Once again, it's slapped on the boards this time. Ottawa will clear it. Down comes Cece. In over the line. And a good chance for a second anyway. Lazar. 
Didn't quite get a stick down in time. It's offside at the blue line. Count just a little late, stopping that. Well, he's waited a long time, played in the minors, played four years of college hockey in the U.S. before he finally got his chance in the National Hockey League. And what a debut for Andrew Hammond. A wonderful story as he beat the Montreal Canadiens and was the difference throughout this hockey game. Second start in his career. He's played in two others. Off the boards and in by Scotty Upshaw. Can't catch up to it. Turning back Lazar. Quick pass by Condra. Into the zone it goes. Condra went in behind the net to find it. Getting a little bit of help from Pajot. Panthers appear to be in a little trouble inside the line, but it's just thrown up to center ice. When in doubt, get it out. That's the rule these days. And that's what they do in a hurry when they get stuck at all. But this time, CeCe will skate it up the center and dump it in. He'll head off. As they're changing. Panthers come back. Nearly a giveaway again. Shabby in the zone. Buke stabbed that time. The youngster nearly gave it up. No icing. A little backhander. Shot on goal. Stop. Buke stabbed. Stays in there looking for the puck. It'll be the Senators who will clear it to the line. Not quite out. Benajad was stopped. Then he just kind of rolled it ahead. That didn't get far at all. Turning was Jokinen. Got it back in. Jokinen now back out and stopped it near center. The defenseman, good Branson, shot it in for Florida. Carlson, he saw him changing. So he took off himself. Swift pass. Sending Zabanajad in over the line. Couldn't get a shot though. Campbell stopped him. He went with him all the way and got a stick in front of the pass. The Dutton down the ice nearly a two on one. Carried in over the line quickly. No shot by Thornton. Now he centers. And that's a glove save by Andrew Hammond. That gets this crowd up and applauding. The second time where the Senators have trouble with their coverage in their own zone. This time it's Popetsky who comes in late wide open. Everybody gets behind the net again and this time Bobby Ryan goes chasing the wrong side of the net and that leaves Kopetsky wide open and, and another fine save by Andrew Hammond. Bolton got shaken up on this hit. It seemed to be a little hurt going to the bench. Gary McKenzie won the draw and a scramble of hers. Looking for the puck. And it's Thornton stopping it, playing it ahead to the corner. Thornton, good work along the boards that time. No shot on goal coming. Kopetsky takes it to the corner, the far side, backed it up around the net. Thornton centered again, wide open in front of the goal, but nobody could make contact with the puck. Thornton stays on the puck coming in. Looks ahead, backed it up again. Thornton stays right there. It came through his skates and Brian Campbell stopped it. But then the Sens get it out and down the ice. This is Puppel coming in in his first game. On the boards, took a hit. Leg one centered it. Got to the far side. The shot is stopped by the long goal. Chiasson tried to center it. He's put off stride back there as he's hit. But they stay on it in there. It's centered. And Puppel came so close to getting his first goal right there. They wanted a penalty call against Florida Panthers, this crowd. Play goes right on, though. We're approaching the eight-minute mark of the first. No score yet. Shots for 7-4. Ottawa. Buck loose at center. Dumped ahead by Huberdeau. He gets over in front of the net, hoping boys could get the puck to him. He put it back to the line. There's the shot, and that's right on. Score! Nope, the goal waving off. The referee was right there behind the net, and he waves it off, even though... It came in quickly through the blue ice and across the line. We'll check it out for you. But you can see the referee is saying, no goal here. Welcome back to Ottawa. We thought we had the first goal of the game, but the referee, T.J. Luxmore, said no dice. The whistle sounded as the puck was coming in. Yeah, the young referee thought that Hammond had the puck right here with his glove, and then the whistle went, ooh, that's close, but... Certainly it seemed like the whistle went before the puck went over the line, Bob. No score in the game. We're 31 seconds short of the eight-minute mark of period number one at Canadian Tire Center in Ottawa. Florida Panthers turning around as Brian Campbell centered it. Another shot. This one goes in. It's a goal. One-nothing Florida. Well, how about that? They looked at everything. 
on the goal we've caught was the first goal of the period. There was no goal, and now you saw it. And here it is. A scramble in front. I think they're going to give this one either to Barkoff or Hubido. As off the face off, the Panthers get it back to the point, and then they go to the net. There goes Barkoff and a centering play and a scramble. And at the end of the day, I believe it's Hubido that's going to get the the goal after Barkov makes a Hubido makes a great play over to Barkov and then the thing trickles over the goal. You don't think it was Barkov. There. Barkov yeah. gets it. That's right. Alexander Barkov, the youngster getting the goal to make it one nothing Florida. What a pass by Hubido to put it back over to Barkov, set up the goal. Here's Connie Upshaw now with a long shot that missed the net. Pat Dindal, Upshaw behind the net, roughing it up back there, trying to get possession. He's thrown into the boards and slapped around a little bit by Cowan. The Ottawa defenseman. But they keep it in. Panthers attacking once more. Fleshman spinning around with it. In front of the net again. What a chance for Bowen. And he lost control of the puck, I believe, right in front of the goalie. Florida coming alive here in this first period. Getting the goal from Barkov, his ninth. Huberdahl, the assist, along with Campbell. 7.38 the time. 1-0 Florida. Puck cleared on the boards by Jokinen. It did get out. Up there is Bukestad. He picked it up in there for the Panthers, centered it, hit a stick. Came loose on this side and cleared out the center ice. Hoffman tried to get going. He stalled at the blue line, had to wait then where Kosh was inside. So the Panthers get time to get back. Camper took over, got a rink wide pass away. That was good. Chopped on the boards to center ice. Jokinen took the pass at the blue line. They're on the side. Play goes right on. Jokinen backhanded the puck around the net. Sens are going to wait, get it, and it's shot out of the zone by Bobby Ryan. That's Turris up there. No, correction, leg one. He made the play in there all right. Looks for the puck again. Nearly got it, too. Shot out, though, by McKenzie of Florida. Crazy change with the two gates open. Everybody got off in time, though. And it continues. Pampers start out. Pass is flipped ahead by Derek McKenzie. Got over the line and late. And it's offside. We'll take a break here and visit with Rush. Bob, your pal Ron McLean is in Bois Chateau, Quebec with the Rogers Hometown Hockey Tour this weekend. The event wraps up tomorrow with the Canucks visiting the New York Islanders. Our coverage begins at 5.30 Eastern Time on City. Well, the faceoff just outside the Ottawa Blue Line. Scramble for it on the boards. Stone got it loose. But Mathot has to hurry back on the boards. Batted away by McCulloch. Brought in by Stone. He nearly got in for a shot. Reached ahead for the puck too late. Turris shot on the long go save. But on the rebound. Stone centered and score! Turris came in from the left wing. And he was set up perfectly. Uh, great down ice puck pressure here, and it all starts with Stone just filtering the puck into the corner. And then Luongo has let a few rebounds out in this game. He lets another one out here that keeps this play alive, and then McCulloch with great puck recovery. And then after that, Stone with some wonderful vision to just throw the puck across here through the seam to Turris, who had a gift after Luongo had to play Stone on the one side of the ice. What a beautiful looking play by the Ottawa Senators to tie this game up. Some dandy passing on the attack inside that blue line. And Kyle Turris came in from the wing, right on the stick, and scored. Tie game. Tie game, Barkov is ninth, Turris is 14th, and here's a rash. Bob Andrew Hammond's NHL debut coming at the age of 27 this week wasn't the only improbable milestone of his career. He didn't make a triple-A team until midget, left the game briefly when he was 18 and had no college offers until he was 20. 
He has a calm demeanor and says being flexible and easygoing helps him in times of adversity and giving up the first goal. Let's see how he responds here. Stanford got the puck outside the line, is brought back in. And taking over is Good Branson. Shot it ahead, still not out. Ottawa turning the heat up again, getting the puck in deep. Bobby Ryan gave pace, went over the boards, and out of play. And this is such a huge game for the Florida Panthers as they continue their road trip. And it doesn't get easier going to Pittsburgh next. When you look at the race in the Eastern Conference, who would have thought that the Panthers just one point behind the Boston Bruins to try to get in this year's playoffs? And as you mentioned, a tough road to coming up. They have a home and home, Greg, with Chicago. In Chicago first, then back to Florida. Shots are 9-6 in this game in the first period, in favor of Ottawa. Game is tied. And one. Panthers get the puck out and down the ice right to the goalie. And put it in play, too. Wojciechowski got it outside the line, but that was all. Panthers were on it. Playing well on the forecheck. And up there this time is Barkov. He has scored the goal. Back in front of the net. Bad giveaways, but they're getting away with those giveaways at both ends. Shot is right on by McCulloch. The long goal makes it look so easy. I know it isn't. But it sure looks easy the way he grabs it. Yeah, he's been calm all season. And you're right, Bob. There's been three or four opportunities for Florida where they've been wide open in front of Hammond. And Hammond's made a couple of big saves. It's been sloppy as both teams have given the puck away in this first period. Lacotte put one in there close. That came through the blue ice. No, you could touch it. Panthers get it out and down the ice. That's going to be a nice scene call. Torres has four goals in his last five games now. He has tied the game. And for the Florida Panthers, this is a bit uncharacteristic. They have 327 giveaways on the season, which is second best in the league, only to the St. Louis Blues that have only given the puck away just over 300 times. 301. Pajot on the draw for Ottawa, wins it cleanly to the side. Stays right there with Pondra. Shot came in, all right. Stick saved by Luongo this time. Sands can't keep it in. Back out for Eric Carlson to back off a little bit inside his own line. Scotty Upshaw was up there watching him make the pass. All star defenseman grabbed it again, was hauled down. Play goes right on, and the puck gets outside the line. Nobody could get too far. Lazar was stopped. Puck gets in, though, and Campbell takes over for Florida. On the boards, Pajot stopped it. It got to the line, however. And once again, Lazar cuts in around two checks. Got in behind the net, threw it off to the far corner. They stay open and take the pass. Delivers it again, back out, and the shot is on. Alongo stops it with Condra right on top of him, and he hangs on. Here again is a rush. Bob, before hometown hockey tomorrow, it's the CHL on Sportsnet. The Madison Hat Tigers face the Edmonton Oil Kings. It's a 3 o'clock Eastern start, one in Alberta on Sportsnet. 7.43 remaining in the first period. Shots are 12-6 in favor of the Ottawa Senators. They're on the puck in there. There's another shot that's blocked this time. Hoffman fired it. Right again, another one. CC went up and he mishandled it coming to the net. He looked up to see where Luongo was positioned. And then the puck has gone off his stick. Zibanejad pokes it loose behind the net. Gets a pass out front. That's intercepted by Jokinen. He got it out and down the ice. Another icing call in the game. This one will be brought back inside that Florida blue line. Camper lost his stick on the play, and that's why the Panthers, all they could do was really get the puck down. And both teams have had some success creating offense off the faceoffs. So far in this game, the Panthers scored their goal that way. They saw in the big circle to the left of Roberto Luongo. It comes in around the net, and Good Branson took over and got it out and down the ice. Guess what? Another icing call. Back in and do it all over. 
Jimmy Hayes that time that chipped it down. He's on fire. He's got four goals in his last seven. He's been a nice player for the Panthers this year. Great big body, goes to the net, has a good shot. And now we got a glass issue, which is going to hold things up a little more. I talked about Luongo so much. I went into the room this morning, Greg, and... Uh, and uh, he kind of nodded to come over because you don't like to bother a goalie a day of the game. And so I went over and I sit down. He said, yeah, that guy there now, he, he might uh, ask you to get out, but forget him. And so we had a chat and uh, I said, you guys are doing great, eh? You're just uh, uh, two points out. He said, no, one. So he's right on it. Yep. And he's showing it already in this first period. Is he ever alive? What a great goalie. It's time for the Budweiser Red Light scoreboard. A lot of goals across the league tonight. And in Montreal, Max Pacioretty has his 28th and 29th of the season as the half lead the Blue Jackets 2-0. Francois Beauchemin has Anaheim on the board. Mutu and Enrique for the Devils, who lead Carolina 2-0. Coming up a little later, the Coors Light NHL Stadium Series at Levi Stadium. Bob? Pacioretty having another great year. Getting big goals as it gets closer and closer to the playoff spot. The Indians are way up there. He's one of the reasons why. A fellow by the name of Kerry Price is another reason why. Big reason. 1-1 one, one tie here in Ottawa in the first period. Puck comes back to the Ottawa blue line. Carlson finds a man open. Turris was the man and couldn't go very far, but here's Carlson again. Puck to pass ahead to Stone through the middle. Stone comes in, dropped it back instead of shooting, and that's turned back by Bukestad. Down across that Ottawa line, the little shot grabbed by Andrew Hammond, and he hangs on. Well, Nick Bukestad's had a terrific year for the Panthers. Another one of those young players that's starting to come along and develop. And this all starts from a fine defensive play by the youngster on the backside pressure. Intercepts a pass and an attempt to McCulloch. And then away he goes. And he can really fire. And he rips this one. And it almost squeaked through between the arm and the body of Hammond. A soft win by Ottawa. And it's out and down the ice. Right to the goalie. Longo scooped it away. Fully to the boards. Panthers move it not far enough to get anything going. It's just shot out to center ice. Where Kosh delivered the pass to the far side, they bring it in. Vieski just dumped it in deep. Panthers are all back, slapped on the boards. Doesn't get out. Kept in over there by leg one. He tried to go to the net and get some help from Hummel. He flipped it in behind the goal. 1-1 one, one tie, and Where Kosh stands up at the blue line. He was bumped a little bit, but made sure the puck was not in any danger. Chesson brought it on for Ottawa. And comes to the corner. Looking for it. Petrovic was in his way. And it's cleared out by Kopetsky. To the line. They move on. Boys grab the puck and shot it in deep. Barkov went in first. Puck is flipped in behind the net on the other side. Condra was there for Ottawa. It gets out past Pajot at center. Inside that forward, a blue line goal. Played in around the net, that's around the boards in the corner and gets all the way out and down the ice. 5-10 left in period one. Lant not happy behind the bench with the icings here in the first period, Eddie. It looked like the Panthers were just about playing themselves out of it and the league caught up to them with that 1-6 and 1 record and then they caught fire again the last nine games and grabbed a position where they're back in it again because of it. Face off, won by Ottawa, cleared in deeper by Pukak. Can't stop this, it bounces out and down the ice. Five minutes now, remaining in the first period. Carlson steps up. Descends, get over the line, Hoffman decided not to shoot. Pass doesn't click in front of the net, and comes all the way to the blue line. Panthers get it out to center ice. Waiting for that was Mathak, just played it back. Inside his old blue line. Carlson comes on through the middle. That's a nice pass. Benajan brings it on in front of the net. It got dangerously close. Carlson saw the opening and moved in. 
Right to the corner with it, dumped it in front of the goal. It's cleared off the boards and it'll get out. And the Panthers come on with it. Huberto got in over the line. He had to stop. He was hit in there. And the other way for Hoffman. Mike Hoffman brings it in, got a stick in the face. There'll be a penalty on the play when they touch it. They haven't got it yet, and it is empty extra man on, but it's picked up by Huberto. And here comes the first penalty of the period. A high stick was called against Bullen. Often plays start at the other end because of a bad play, which turns into a penalty. And here we go here. He turns the puck back and creates a three on two the other way because of the giveaway. Now it's the backside pressure by Bowling. He's trying to lift the stick of Hoffman. It doesn't work. And now the Panthers are going to have to kill off a penalty. 4.08 left in the period. First power play of the game. It belongs to Ottawa. And uh, the Warren goal watch that one go out of play. The Ottawa Senators power play is 21st in the National Hockey League. Penalty killing for Florida. Not bad. Not terrific, but 24th in the league. So this one is up for grabs. First power play of the game. CC brought it on and he left it. Leguan put it back for him. Shot coming up. And nobody could really get in position to take the shot. Pass was intercepted. Leguan kept it in and he'll get it again. Leguan looks at the net. Decides not to shoot it. They're all on the outside. Torres shot it to the side of the net. Scramble for the puck. Florida happy to keep it going in there as long as nobody's in front. Stone made the pass. The shot is ripped wide of the net. It'll come back near the line. Stopped by Stone again. This time rolled it ahead. McCulling threw it to the corner and went over in front of the net. It's intercepted. Not cleared out. Stopped at the line by Stone on the other side. Stone was open at the blue line and the pass was to tourist to Stone. Doesn't shoot it. Leg one backed off a little bit. He's covered. Panthers are doing a good job setting up that four-man box. No shots coming from this Ottawa team. There's one trickled in really through the crowd. Easy save by Luongo at the line. Stopped by CC. Ripped in and that's knocked away. Curris has it. Side of the net, the colic hauled down. Play goes right on, and the Panthers are going to send him back. 32 seconds left in the penalty. Two shots already, but they could have had more. Nearly a bad giveaway in front of the net for Jokinen to get a chance shorthanded. 20 seconds left to kill. Ottawa moving up. Pass comes to the right side. Zavanajan brings it off the boards. Tipped in front of the net by Shiasan. Big save again by Roberto Luongo. On the boards and flipped ahead by Jokinen. They don't get it out right away. Upshaw was there and missed it. Now he'll get it. He'll send it down the ice. That'll do it. Penalty is done. So the two shots were all they could muster on that power play. 155 left to play in the period. That's Bobby Ryan getting it going. He's knocked down at center ice. Again, the play continues. Sends come back. Fired out of the zone by Wirkosh. Condra stopped at the line, but he poked the puck head. Pacho, backhand shot. That's stopped by Luongo. Flipped on the boards and chopped out to center ice. 130 to go in the first period. Shots are 15-7 Ottawa. There's Luongo again. Very steady and goal again for the Florida Panthers. Panthers get the puck out and down the ice. Three sends were back to take care of that play by Bukestad. Pondra missed a chance to pass it ahead. Then a second attempt did get it ahead. Luongo steps out of the net and put it very high on the glass. Campbell poked it behind the net. Under a minute left in the first period in Ottawa. Boys firing the puck out to center ice on the boards. Or offside, Barkov made the move. And the play is stopped. On quiet 16 shots against Luongo in this period. He makes it look easy, doesn't he? Here's a nice centering pass by, by Zibanejad. And she is uh, going to the net. Luongo in perfect position. Stick right between the five hole. Moving across. Timed it just a little ahead of the puck. So he could make a fine save. His toughest of the game so far. Cherry in the 
coach's corner coming up in our first intermission with Ronald. Eggplant played the puck ahead to center ice, and that's Huberto. He's got a shot, maybe. Pass instead. He was on a bad angle. Good move to Campbell. 20 seconds remaining in the period. Florida threatening right here, but the Sens are covering up for Andrew Hammond. Stop by Stone. Got up the center ice. He's alone. Came in over the line, looked over. Nobody was with him, so he stalled a little bit. Jad went flying as he was upended, and that's the horn that ends the first period. 1-1 one, one tie, Barkov and Turris exchanging goals. 16-7 of the shots, Ottawa, and here's George. Second period is next from Ottawa. First time for the Budweiser Red Light scoreboard. Toronto actually led 1-0, then Truba and Shifley have the Jets up 2-1 through a period. Montreal now leads 2-1 at home against the Jackets, and it's all Devils with Rutu and Reek and Green. Pop goal, Greg Millen with the second period. Fellas. And it's 1-1 here to start the second period. Goals in the first by first Barkov, and then Torres tied it for Ottawa. And here's the faceoff. The second is underway and back into the Ottawa zone right off the bat. And Todd and Carlson together. Todd got it out and down the ice. Camper comes back to pick it up around the goal. He goes for Florida. They meet him right away on the forecheck. Good play by Mark Stone to come up. Boys tried to lift it out. It did get across the line to center ice. Dumped in by Hubert Ohm. The goalie came out to touch that away. Carlson looks ahead. Swift pass right on the tape. Mark Stone brought it in. Back here, McCulloch stopped by Luongo. He read it beautifully. He got out to cut the angle and made the save. It was, however, a big rebound with no damage done. Carried ahead and out of the zone. Down the ice it goes, and Camper, after doing that, takes off on a change for Florida. First minute of play gone. In the second period, the puck deep. The Panther zone slapped on the boards for a Scotty Upshaw. He tucked it ahead to center ice and they're on the move over the line. Brought in by Fleischman. Going to bump along the boards, but he stays in there. Tried to chase down Jared Cowan. Couldn't catch him. Sends get it out. Three of them are up on the play. Brought in quickly and Pajot had to stop in the corner. Kicked it ahead to a stick. And it got out. Off the stick of Cowan and out. So they have to go back. Cowan takes it. Brings it away. Pajot is on the move, can't pick that up, he's covered. Conver got it, shot it in on goal. Easy save and then weak shot. Panthers bring it on. Just jumped in wide of the net in there. Went back quickly as the bandage had first. Got it out. Puck hit the lines, went up the far side, prevented a rush maybe by Ottawa. And the Panthers come back. Be good Branson headed around his own goal. They're in deep in their own zone and can't move it very far. Sends stay on the attack and comes off the boards for Obiemski. Put it in back of the net. Bobby Ryan left it there at the side of the net, bounced out front, and finally cleared out to center ice by Yokin. Offside. Hoffman brought it in fast and such a quick skater, but. Not fast enough that time, offside. Tura Stone and McCulloch have been the best line on the ice so far this evening, and then been that way the last couple of games, and there's a pretty good chance there by McCulloch coming late in their last six. They're really starting to heat up since being put together. You like Stone's game, the way he goes to the net, Turris the playmaker, and McCulloch seems to be picking up the second half of the season. 1-1 one, one tie here in the second period, just underway. Late two and a half minutes. Matot back for Ottawa. Got it ahead, not very far. Andrew Hammond came out to play it. And guess what? The racing. All the way back. Here's a rash again. Bob, the 2015 ICC Cricket World Cup is underway. Watch all matches live and in HD. Contact your local service provider or visit 
getcricket.ca. 249 gone in period number two in Ottawa. Boys on the face off. Sends control it, get the puck to center, so no icing this time. The change is being made by both teams. Brought ahead by Kovic, got it in over the line, and very quickly, Carlson got back. He didn't look ahead, though. His pass was knocked down by Boyd. The then is checked to the ice. Torres knocked the puck out to center. Gets it over the line. Can't make a play, but it comes back to center ice. And lots of room for Mathot to come back and pick it up. Huberto comes up on the forecheck to watch him. He swings the other way. It looks like he's going off on a change. Stone poked it over the line. Backhand pass got in front. Nice save on the six save by Luongo. He's moving to this side and had to move the stick quickly the other way. Scotty Upshaw saw, shot the puck in. Stays in on the forecheck for the Panthers of Florida. CC got it out. Had a bounce high, hit the glass, stays in play. Upshaw back, dumped the puck ahead. A sloppy start right here to the second period. In between the two blue lines, several passes missing. It only took a lot of time to play that one. Nearly coughed it up in front of the net. And right there was Dave Bullen, but he didn't know the puck was in behind him in front of the goal. Ekblad played it away, and that got in front again. Sloppy at both ends. Panthers get it out to center, led by Jokinen up over the line. For Hayes. Low shot stopped by Andrew Hammond. And the Florida player dumped at the far side as UC Jokinen. And he was hurt. And the players reacting to Klikow and hit. And Jokinen, who's been a terrific player for the Florida Panthers, is down at the moment being attended to. Here comes the hit. There, head contact. Count to the box, Greg. And it looks late because that's not real speed, and often that can be deceiving, but it certainly is contact to the head, and that's why Cowan's going to the penalty box. I'm going to show you this real speed, just to give you the difference. And often those plays look late because we're giving it to you in super slow. Here's real speed. Coming across. Might be a little late, but he's just following through on the hit. But the bigger problem is the head contact made and Jokinen going off into the quiet room. And there's the penalty. Jared Cowan in the penalty box. Tie game, 1-1. 438 is the time of this penalty. And Gallant is not happy with that, saying it's got to be more than two. And he's getting an explanation, and you like that that the official goes over. Gerard Gallant with Detroit, played so many years with Steve Eiserman. He doesn't goal like it. Score he was. You can shoot the puck, Bob. Well, I got to tell you, a natural goal scorer and a gritty guy too, as you remember. Interference call. Panthers have a chance to go ahead. On the board, Huberdeau threw it to the corner. Get it back right here and does. Huberdeau takes a look. No shot from the other side. That's stopped by Hammond. Went up high. Huberdeau in deep. Tried to send it out front and did. Getting some help there too from Jimmy Hayes. Puck is cleared along the boards and out. Ekblad. Right to center by himself. Open ice pass, that won't do it. Cleared away easily by Mark Mathot for Ottawa down the ice. Ekblad back. Coming on for Florida, the power play moves up across center. Brought in by Bukestad. He lost it. Down the ice again. Losing a lot of time and Thomas Fleischmann went around his own goal for the Florida Panthers. Coming out, the right wing pass was good to the defenseman up on the play, Ekblad. Well, that's in too quickly, and icing is a call. Not good. 
Couple of turnovers by the Panthers here on the power play, Ed. They're having trouble getting into the zone, and some nice work there by Stone on the backside pressure. Stone's been a great penalty killer for the Ottawa Senators, a very versatile player. Here comes the youngster, Eckblad, who's had such a wonderful season. So poised, throws it up in the wing, and again, the Senators do a nice job holding the blue line. Legland won the faceoff, but they couldn't jump on it and take advantage. Panthers clear. Shot into the zone by Brad Boys. And again, Hammond is out of the net, clear it high on the glass, and get all the way down the ice. They're killing this off well. 42 seconds left in the penalty. Only the one shot to record so far on this power play. Fleischman lost it. That was dangerous. Leguan brought it on. He's covered in time by Brian Campbell, who skated back with him. Kept him outside, and he couldn't get inside to get a shot. Boys comes up to center. He's pulled down. And the play is allowed to continue to go offside at that Ottawa blue line. 19 seconds left on the Senator penalty, and they have done a great job, Ottawa, of holding the blue line. And Florida has not been able to set up at all on their power play. Coming into the game, Ottawa's penalty killing has been pretty good, 13th in the league. A little over 82%. Anything over 80 is always good. And they're killing this one off well. Ekblad brings it up over the line. Trying to get in position to get a shot away. That'll be cleared out of the zone. I'll tell you what, it's gonna be a penalty the other way. And here it comes. Lee Streff is going to develop up near center ice. Town trying to get loose. He's a big tough guy. Thornton, of course, answering the bell here after the hit by Cowan. Exactly. Thornton, you talk about tough guys. He can get a hand loose. They're going to taste it. But he takes a left. But he gives a right and another right. He connected on Cowan twice. John Thornton. Now the linesman decide, or the referee decides to send him in, whatever, and they break it up. So there will be major penalties there. And another minor. We'll get that for you when we're back. Well, you can see this, the spoils of the fight. Ice on the hands. The initial play here is going to be a tripping call there to Kopetsky and up went the arm and then to the left of your screen they went at it and pretty good fight and here comes Cowan out of the box after the big hit and Thornton is just basically waiting for him to come out of the box and challenge him. The Ottawa trying to set something up here inside that Florida blue line. Whoa, the save by Luongo. A one-timer by Mika Zabanajad. Label for the top corner, Luongo Sot. What a save. Anticipation for a, for such a big part of goaltending when you're a veteran goalie. And he's over in a hurry. If he overplays this puck, he has no chance of catching this puck back against the floor. Where Kosh got the pass away at the blue line, gets it back, and now he shoots. Another glove save by Roberto. Oh, he's hot. And we are to see the goalies work like this. Sorry, Bob. Where Kosh can really shoot the puck, too. And he's in a great position. I mean, he just leans into it. And you're right. He's got the glove going tonight, doesn't he? He's got everything going. One goal apiece, these two teams. And where Kosh again. Pass this time, that hit a stick. Comes down for Zabanajad, he rolls it over the other side. He'll stay open at the line. Where Kosh winds up, no shot. Second time maybe, they come over here and another one-timer by Zabanajad, but that one is 10 feet wide of the net. Where Kosh, no shot, he's covered right away by Upshaw. And again, Upshaw moves out, Where Kosh is loose. Drives it, that's blocked all right. Falling was Derek McKenzie. Another pass at the side of the net. No one-timer this time from Zabana Jad. Where Kosh the other way. Moving on, Carlson over here. Zabana Jad lost it. 
Bobby Ryan tries it. They're all outside. Back at the line where Kosh once more hit a stick, went wide of the net. Carlson and his pass was deflected. And all the way down the ice, Hammond. Very confident moving out of the net, playing it up there for Bobby Ryan. They get together over the line for Turris. Back to the blue line, Turris again from Wirkosh. Rolled it at the side of the net. Everybody checked in there. The puck is batted away to the line. Wirkosh stopped it. Wirkosh short pass. A little 15-footer. Turris throws it off to the side of the net. It's centered, missed everybody. Carlson had come off the line. Turris from the blue line in there. All out of all in possession, but not much going to the net now. They know the goalie is hot. They try to make it perfect. Time running out. Back at the line. Two shots so far. But they score. Right at the end of the power play. And hit the post and went in. And Ryan celebrates. Ottawa leads. Great movement by the Ottawa Senators. They wear down the penalty killers. And good play here by Shea Son to keep the puck alive. He gets the puck to the point. And then Ryan moves out from the corner. And a beautiful tip up over top of Roberto Luongo. And that's the only way you're going to beat him tonight. Get some traffic in front of him as Luongo's been hot. Bobby Ryan, the bullet shot. You hear it all over the building. Hitting the pipe. And in behind Luongo. Now Barkov comes out the center and up over the line he goes. Bumped along the boards in there. All over him as CC. Terrace comes back to help, but the Panthers stay in close. Huberdeau nearly had a chance right there. Boys, stick handing behind the net. He's tripped up. Play goes right on. Ottawa will clear the puck to center ice. They turn it back quickly. Huberdeau stole it, came in, takes the shot right on. Hammond stopped that. Huberdeau again. He's tied up this time and won't get a second shot. It will be cleared by Pajot up to center ice for Ottawa. Both teams changing as we come up to the halfway mark of the second. Ottawa leads by a goal now. Shot high down to center ice, stopped by Borbieski and slapped back in. Lipped off to the boards at the far side, and here now coming out is Bukestad. Throw it in there quickly to Hayes. Bukestad can't beat the goal. He was in close, maybe too close. Hammond made the save on the short side. Bukestad again on the puck. Dumped it ahead a little bit, not far enough. And then Carlson lost it. Hayes centered it. Juggling the puck was Hammond. And the Sens get it out to Pajot, and he poked it in. They wave off the icing. Brian Campbell takes it in behind the net and left it right there. Bukestad made the play that starts him off. Panthers get to center. The defenseman was up. That's Ekblad. He threw it in at the goalie. Didn't reach him. And turning back quickly and rolling on. Werkosh in over the line. That's leg one. Can't get the shot. Tied up by Campbell who played him beautifully. On the boards, Bullen got the puck out for Florida. Nine minutes left in the second. 2-1 Ottawa now. The lead goal scored by Ryan. His 15th. Curtis and Chiasan assisted. 8.40 the time. It was an even strength goal right at the end of the penalty. You might not call it a power play goal, though, the way Ottawa had the puck controlled inside the blue line, attacking from every angle. The one goal was terrific. But then they put one by him. Penalty ended. 8-18 left to play in the second period. On the puck is Boys. Flipped it back and will get outside the line. Turning back, CC. Dumped ahead, sends just firing the puck in deep. Ryan paid for that and he was dumped quickly. And then Camper was giving a jolt back there. 
Recovers Zoll, gets it ahead. And that's center ice and coming in strong. That'll be a play by Barkov. Puck comes off the goalie out front. Boys shot it, hit somebody in front of the net. Barkov got it again, centered it. Coming up from the blue line and dumping it in. Petrovic. Panthers are turning up the heat a little bit. That's Huberdo back there, centering the puck. Finally, Ottawa intercepting and getting it out. Hoffman just let it slide to his left. Now gets the drop pass. Low shot is stopped by Roberto Luongo off the stick and over the glass into the crowd. Ottawa has taken the 2-1 lead here in the second. Bob Cole along with Greg Mullen, Arash Madani back in Ottawa. And uh, the goalies have been outstanding in this game, really. And the rash has a story on goalies. Well, Bob, the trade deadline is March 2nd, but 30 years ago today, a blockbuster. February 21st, 1985, Mike Leute and Jorgen Pedersen to Hartford for Greg Millen and Mark Johnson. A pivotal day in the history of the National Hockey League. Great trade for Hartford. <laughs> Well, you played real well for them, Bob. I was just okay in St. Louis for a few years. I don't know you were. I don't know. <laughs> I was so kind that my daughter, Hillary, was just a little girl at the time, and she was fortunate enough to get your autograph. Really? Uh, yes. That's something. Hillary told me to tell you thank you. Here is McCollum. Came close for a tip and attempt at the far side. Knocked down by Huberdeau, and he played it up on that far side and jumped in by Bukestad. Two on Ottawa leads. Turning away is Carlson. Upended is Carlson. Again, they're letting them play. Only three penalties in the game. Centering pass right in front of the net for Torres. Missed the goal. A lot of one-timers. And wide of the net that time again. Shot in by Scotty Upshaw, wide of the net. It'll get outside the blue line. They'll have to tag up in a hurry. Ottawa back to lead the attack. On the right side, Pajot comes this way instead. Down the center, Morbietsky in deep it goes. In the Panthers zone, Campbell picked the pass and kept going with the puck. Then lost it over there. Ottawa will be on it quickly. Dumped ahead by Borbietsky along the side of the net. And that's Condra trying to center now. His first pass is intercepted. Didn't get a chance to make a second. Pajot was there. And the Panthers just tap it out to center ice. Ottawa skating better now. On the puck. That'll be offside if they play it. And there's the whistle. Offside it is. Hockey night in Canada on Sportsnet. Time for the Budweiser Red Light scoreboard, and it has been lighting up all night. Toronto actually led 1-0, then Truba and Shifley have the Jets up 2-1 through a period. Two for Pacioretty, the Habs lead by a goal. All Devils, Rutu, Enrique, and Green. Jamie Benz, 23rd, by the way, has Dallas up 1-0. Bob and Greg. Brian has given Ottawa the lead here in Ottawa. At 8.40 of this period, Torres and Chiasson assisted. Panthers try to tie it. Winning the faceoff in there, but no shot from Jokinen, and then he lost it. Pumped up again for him, though. Just inside the blue line. Centered again by Barkov. Hit a stick, came back to him. Pretty good puck handler Barkov is, and he's on it again in there. Moved one way, then the other. Hoffman knocked it loose from him. Up from the line is with Branson to make sure it stayed in deep for the Panthers. And Hoffman steals it and gets the puck out. Ottawa will dump it in over the line and Hoffman. Better skater coming on against his check. Got there, but then was covered. All over him was Jokinen. There's Jokinen on the puck again, but lost it. Sins getting to the line. That booming shot fired wide by CC. And again lifted high down the ice. Surely they let this roll. No, they're going to call it icing. And they'll bring it back. Kraft Hockeyville will announce the top 10 communities on March 14th. Visit khv2015.ca for more details. Brought to you by Kraft Peanut Butter. Four minutes and 44 seconds left to play in period number two. 
at Canadian Tire Center in Ottawa. The Sens are leading by a goal. Shots are 24-13 to this point in the hockey game. Ottawa. Long goal again. Spectacular. Great saves. All the way down the ice. Back is Petrovic. Panthers get it to the boards and out. Sliced inside the line by Derek McKenzie. Tried to cause some trouble, but it's Torres who'll get the puck away to center. Got help from Mark Stone. They didn't get it too far. And then moving to center was Mathot to flip it in deep into the Florida zone. Pass for Petrovic. Shot the puck ahead to center. There's McKenzie. Got it up over the blue line, and the Sens are back. Out comes Leguan. Long pass down the ice, tipped ahead by Pummel, and that is called. A lot of whistles. 350 left to play in the second. Watch it, Cody Cece, and I think so, at some point in this league, he's going to put up some pretty good goal scoring because he's got the great shot from the point. The one thing I've noticed so far, this young player still needs to hit the net a little more as he's had some good opportunities again tonight. And if he starts increasing his odds by putting it on net, and maybe taking a little bit off the puck to do it, he's going to start putting up some goals in this league at some point as he matures as a defenseman. Matt Kumpel was at 26. Playing in this very first game for Ottawa. Had a chance early in the hockey game to score. I'm sure by this time the butterflies have left him. Maybe not. First game is always tough. But he shows a lot of promise. Turning back with the puck is Lazar. He's a great skater too. Got in along the board. Took a hit back there. Thrown by Campbell. Puck comes loose on the side. And the Florida Panthers will clear it out of the zone to center. Carrying on. And Bukestad are offside on the play. So Brian Murray, now that the team is pretty much out of the playoffs, there are really, he is now starting to bring up some players. Of course, Hammond, because of injury, and had his great start against Montreal. Prince against Carolina, and again, the night Puffle giving it a shot here, coming up from the American Hockey League, where he scored 30 goals last year. And again, this year, putting up some points in the AHL. 12 goals and 32 assists. So he's on again with Leg Wong winning the faceoff. There it is on the boards, but reading that perfectly and getting back was Dave Bullen. Shot fired in on Hammond, no problem with that save. Just standing there, made the blocker save. Comes to the side of the net. Carlson dangerous in front of his own goalie, but carries on to center. Always dangerous in this type rush. Shot the puck in. Leg Wong in there, takes a hit along the boards. The Panthers back. Boland helped back there and uh, Upshaw shot it to the boards in the corner. And ricochets all right in there. Comes on the side. Covering was Cowan. Played ahead and out again by Leguan. The defenseman up in the play is Cody Cece. That is shot in. Ottawa changing all around. 2.14 left to play in the second. Boys brings it in. Winds up the shot. Right pad save. Andrew Hammond, he looked good doing it too. Went down to that butterfly style of his and made the save. Puck along the ice. Boys brought it in. That shot in wider than that. CeCe was back in time, but there on the puck is Jokinen. Left it on the boards. A high pass. They're only trying to stop it and missed it. Bobby Ryan will get it. And he'll skate out with the puck. Up to center. Fake twice. Got away from two checks. Trying to throw it in, and Hill Lake came back to him. Gave it up, and the shot high. Reflected way wider than that. Hoffman. Ekblad there with a bit of a block, Ed. This would not be good for the Florida Panthers. He seems to be all right, but he blocked that shot right in the foot. He goes off, limping a little bit as Senators are on a change. There is the shot as he sticks out his left pole. Good. Yeah. That stings. Panthers win the faceoff. O'Brien fed the puck ahead. Nearly a giveaway. Turned out it was. And the long go had to save the day again. And still just two to one. Ottawa leads. 115 left to play in the second. 
That shot deflected wide of the net, hooked away by O'Brien and didn't get the puck out. Second chance for Petrova. Down the ice it goes. Huberdeau trying to cut inside. They stop him from getting in there. We're in the final minute now, as you hear. 2 1 Ottawa leads. Puck shot ahead. And the Sens get up as far as center. Turris flipped it over the line, just turned back at the blue line as he saw a hit coming. Panthers get it out. Trying to catch up with Jimmy Hayes. He did. And then dropped the pass. Shot in around the net. Hayes was over there that quickly. Backed it up to the corner. They're all around the place, but nobody could get out front to get lined up for a shot. Kept inside that zone. No look out. Something might come here. Sticks were flying for a moment. And Good Branson didn't like the way things were going inside the line. Was he called? I think so. Yeah, with a slash as a retaliate. He retaliated after McCulloch. Through Gabranskin into the board. So the Ottawa native is going to go in the penalty box for two or less. And the initial hit, Gabranskin didn't like it. I don't blame him. And then right afterwards, there is the slash on McCulloch. Raymond Branson's a play. tough guy, you know, and he can really hit. He's been quiet tonight in this game, but you don't want to get him a little angry for sure. Third power play for Ottawa. His chest was off the arm of Luongo. 14 seconds remaining in the period. Taken away by UC Jokinen. Stalls for a bit and then shot the puck down the ice. So the third period will start. But the Panthers shorthanded. The shots in the period were Ottawa 9 and Florida 8. After the break coming up, Saturday headlines. Hockey Night in Canada on Sportsnet. We're in Ottawa tonight and the Sens are leading 2-1 to one after 2. Day March 2nd is the trade deadline and get inside the game with hockey's best. Hockey Central's trade deadline begins at 8 a.m. Eastern on Sportsnet. Meanwhile, a lot going on. Our Budweiser Red Light scoreboard. It's been a wild one at Air Canada Center. The Jets just went up at the late in the second period. Mark Shifley has got the Jets up 3-2 there. The Canadians holding on to a 2-1 advantage while Pittsburgh is up 1-0 on St. Louis. Bob Cole, Greg Millen with your call of the third period. Gentlemen. Thank you, Arash, and here we are set for the third period. Florida is shorthanded with a minute 35 left in the penalty. Good Branson is in the penalty box. Carlson on the puck in his own zone and deep and coming on. Allowed to skate to the line to center, dumps one in to the left of the net. Quick save made as Kyle Turris came on very quickly and it looked harmless enough. They're always dangerous, aren't they? Come on, go again. Kyle Turris has had a very good evening and a nice shoot in here by Carlson and that allows a good pickup by Turris as he beats the defense in, but it's all about the Carlson shoot in as he banks it off the boards to create the chance. It's Mark Stone that was right now and he hoped to win the face off. Usually goes that way. It was won by Florida out and down the ice. Good play by Dave Bowen. So into the first minute of period number three in Ottawa. Sends leading two to one. Puck shot in wide of the net. The goalie plays it off to the corner. Alongo watching everything coming to the side. Stone turns around, eludes the check. And he gets the puck again. Takes the shot, Luongo, left hand, has caught everything. Well, Florida needs some urgency in their game here. I mean, they're being outshot 26-15 at the moment. They open the scoring in a scramble play, and it was Barkoff who tapped it in to give them the 1-0 lead, and then Stone with a beautiful setup of Turris, and that's been working all night long to tie the game up, and then Bobby Ryan redirects the puck in the power play, and the Senators up 2-1. And this is a huge game for Florida, and they have not been very passionate this evening in, the, in this game. Face off win back to Carlson. Carlson shoots it. And apparently the linesman said he had the puck outside the line by an inch or two and that's offside. 
just as the Senators have been very good at the faceoff dot tonight when they've had the special teams and they win another draw. Carlson pulls and drags it across the blue line as he walks the line and just takes it over the blue line. Panthers control that faceoff. Shot down the ice. The goalie out to play it. Andrew Hammond. Penalty time remaining 30 seconds. Right through the center ice as Bobby Ryan over the line. Lost it. Tapped back out to center ice. Good play by McKenzie. And he's up there to harass the man coming back for Ottawa. Where Kosh slipped away from him. Put a stick in to knock it loose off the boards again. Chiasson drops it back. Ottawa trying to get something going. Penalty is now over. Out of the box, just allowing the two shots on that power play. Panthers kill it off and now try to get something going, but they fail to get outside their own blue line. Karkoff turned back, started away, made a good stick handling move to get the center. It's lifted in high, wide of the net, hit the back of the goal, stays in play though. Comes off the netting from the line. Trovic shot it right on and that's knocked away to the far side and the Sens cleared. Through center, Pajol in over the line, put the brakes on and turned back, swinging around and lost it to Boys. Got it back from him and dumped it in. Panthers making some changes, nearing the three minute mark of the third. Down the goal. One point behind Boston coming in here. Hoping the game, a playoff spot. So this is a very big game for Florida. Zone is clear, down the ice for McKenzie. In over the line, center of the puck. Shot is flipped wide of the net by Duke Stan, who's up on the play. Centered it again, but it's tapped away on the boards and out. Camper got back. Put it ahead, it's not inside the line. That's gonna be offside, if they touch it, they do, it's called. Offside. Well, a turnover by the Ottawa Senators, but I really like CC the way he came back into the play. The Senators on a change, and there is the neutral zone turnover that creates a break. Now watch CC. He just gets on his horse, got caught up a little bit initially, and then comes back and makes a beautiful defensive play to knock the puck off Bukestead's stick. Intentional offside, so the faceoff back in the big circle to the left of Roberto Luongo. David Leguan for Ottawa leaning in. Tapped in to the side of the net. Camper picked it up, put a pass ahead quickly, got outside the line, but Leguan intercepted that. Hammond came out and gave it away. Good chance for a moment, but no shot by Boland. He did not control it right away to get a shot away. Leguan got there first and got it off the boards and out. Bolin brings it back. It is dumped in wide of the net, so out of the goal again is Andrew Hammond. And again, he nearly gave it away dangerously. Behind the goal is Fleischman. Turns back this way, circles the net, shoots it on the goal, but it was low and weak. And Hammond stayed with the play all the way and smothered it. I like Hammond's game. You can tell he's a mature goaltender at the age of 27. Why? Because his movement very complete in the net. He doesn't overplay pucks. He's very calm. And here's a sample of his work in this game. He's been not all that busy, but his rebound control for the most part has been solid. Well, not that one so much, but he's been okay in the goal tonight. And just solid is the word that comes to mind, Bob. Face off, one by Pajot, but then he failed to do much with it, just get it out. Pesky brings it ahead. Dumped in, Pajot the first one back for Ottawa. Threw it around the net to the other side. And Condra made sure it got near the blue line, but not out yet. Panthers keep it in. The setup was not made too well, and Campbell just had to roll it ahead. Knocked down at center ice. Sends attack. Thornton got back in the way of that second pass. Right to the stick of Kopetsky. Brings it in. Thornton going to the net. Pass comes back, no shot coming. Broken up and cleared by the Sens down to Pajol. Inside the line, he put the brakes on. 
Hondra put a shot on, and Luongo had a little trouble with that. Dangerous pass right in front of the goal. Knocked down at the blue line and sent in deep again by CC. 2 1, Ottawa leads. CC back. Decides to turn and go all the way back as Brad Boys was coming in on the four check. Luongo watch this one with the net. Back forward was Camper. Shot it to the far side. They can't get a pass going on the move. So back and forth they go, but Ottawa looks a little bit smarter. Chorus brings it on. That's not so hot though. At the blue line, the stall, and the offside. Here's a rash again. Bob, they have sold out Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, California. And next, it's the Coors Light NHL Stadium Series game on CBC. The Kings and the Sharks, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific, down there in Northern California. Should be a good one. Nearing six minutes of play in the third period in Ottawa, 2-1, the Senators are leading the Panthers. Barkov can't control it. It is handled by Carlson, he backhands it in. Hanford back, played it on the boards hard. Barkov picked it up and dropped it back. Now they try to get it going. But between the two blue lines, not much room given. So they turn it back. Panthers get it as far as center. It's shot in by Yokin. But they can't move up that quickly. Stone got it out. Nice move by Kyle Churros. In over that Panthers blue line. Comes in after it. Stepping in front of him was Ekblad. Ekblad gets the puck. Left it for Brian Campbell. Stepping ahead to the line and a nice pass ahead. Gets him at center and dumped in by Dukestad. Florida can't get in quickly enough to do any damage. Sends turn it back the other way. Zabanajad had to wait at the line. Would have been offside as Hoffman was flying in there and he was upended. Seven minute mark coming up in the third. Campbell had to hurry the pass. They get it into Huberdo. Knocked down, trying to get in position for a shot. And it's sent down the ice. There's Savanajad racing up there, and he beat everybody. Took a shot, too. And Luongo stopped that on the short side. Great speed by Savanajad. And again, played up on the right side. Brought in by Lazar. Tied up. Can't make a play. Back at the blue line, though, for CC. He lost it on a giveaway. Down the ice for Fleischman. He lost it just inside the line. High stick made contact. We're gonna play it back there. Panthers are, so the play allowed to continue. Nearly a good play for Ekblad. And it hopped over his stick, and he comes around the net to clear it away in time. Panthers got up there, and two of them were coming in after that loose puck. Scrambled in the corner, four players jostle for the puck. Sends trying to keep it in. Clear it out. Harmlessly though inside the line. No passes coming out of the zone either side. Very scrambly and Ottawa is doing a good job of having all five of players back and really not giving Florida much time or space at all. Pretty good skate by Kempfer, but then he threw the pass ahead, and that's icing. That's been the story of Florida's game. I mean, they've had some opportunities to get some rush chances going, and they can't make a pass. And again, a young team, Florida, they're in a position now where they're close, and this is where good teams grab it and run with it. But when you're inexperienced, it's tough to do sometimes in a very good league like the National Hockey League. Kempfer. Went back there, but it wasn't done fairly, even though it looked like there was a clean face off. So they'll do it all over again in that spot to the left of Luongo. 12 19 left in the third, 2 1, Ottawa leads. Good crowd here, in spite of the stormy weather outside. Snowing all afternoon. Minus 17 this morning. Brisk day. For sure. A break. Nice pass to Carlson. Shoot scores! They can't give this guy room. Yeah, I go 
goes crazy on the horn, and the fans are applauding. Great pass to begin with by McCulloch, who's had a good game, and great anticipation by Carlson to read that he can jump up and let it rip. And this release, a right-handed shot, is a little room on Roberto Luongo, and I mean, Luongo, who's had that great glove going all game long, just can't get to catch up to that heavy, heavy shot and release by Carlson to give the Senators a two-goal cushion. 3-1 now, Ottawa leads. And that might be a fairly good cushion, Greg. With the chances at either end, the goalies have been high. There's the captain of the Ottawa Senators, Eric Carlson. The captain scores his 14th. From McCulloch, just the one assist so far. It was a great pass, and what a terrific shot by this man. 3-1, Ottawa leads. Face off to the left of Andrew Hammond. Poised now to win maybe his second game. Takes off, goes behind that goal line to the left of the net. Panthers try to get something going, but they give it up. And a break comes to Shiasan down the ice. Coming in, shoots. Not a hard shot, he was checked all the way, and because of that check, there's got to be a penalty by the looks of things. Alec Blad played 27 minutes in Montreal. And tonight he's well on his way, over 22 now, and he gets caught on this last play and then ends up with the tripping call afterwards on the back check on Chiasson. And a young defenseman who's had such a great year, having a bit of a tough night, and he's going to have those as he's still a very young defenseman just starting in the National Hockey League. Boy, is he going to be great. On the wall for three in the game on the power play. And they're going to have to come back and start from deep in their own zone. Turris was another assist on the Carlson goal. That made it 3-1. to one. Moving up, Bobby Ryan off his stick in deep. Savannah Jazz in quickly. Sent it to the corner at the far side. It stopped at the blue line. Carlson on this side waited for the pass from Wierkosch. It didn't come, and the puck is down the ice, and Bobby Ryan will come back. Halfway mark of period number three coming up in 55 seconds. A break coming in for McKenzie, and a great save by Hammond as he covered up on the second attacker. Looked like a short goal shorthanded. Another chance coming, maybe. Up is Derek McKenzie again. He's in. Shoots. Short side save. He got the rebound behind the net. Great work by McKenzie. He heads off now after two great chances. But it's still 3-1 Ottawa. They are on the power play. The chances so far have been for Florida. Moving up is Carlson. It is played in around the net on this side. Stone. Stone played it out. It got as far as center ice. And Turris had to wait. Right to the middle. Carlson deflected the pass to the boards. Here comes Mark Stone. Got by him. Sins try to keep it in, and they're going to do that, but not for long. It's lifted away out of the zone by Petrovic. Down the ice, 9.50 to play. 16 seconds left of the penalty. Ottawa on the move and taking charge. They're ahead now by two goals, and Mathot couldn't stop that near that Florida blue line. Penalty is now over. Out of the box, Ekblad. He makes to the bench for a change. They allow just the one shot on goal in that power play. And two great shorthanded chances were foiled by Andrew Hammond. Good Branson got that. Left it for Barkov to get the puck going. Dangerous pass, but pulled it off to Camper. He shot it out, that's all. Nobody up to take the pass. Free of a check. And the play goes offside anyway at the Ottawa Blue Line. Hammond doing it again. Look at that chance by Kopetsky. 
Dave Cameron gave Matt Pumpel this piece of advice before tonight's NHL debut. It's the same system you've been used to, but you have to make decisions quicker, he said. That's something the Sens first round pick from 2011 has done in the AHL this season, become more of a passer, create more. He told me even on the power play that he's looking for the open man now, not just the open net. 20 assists already this season, more than his 18 all of last year, Bob. Thanks, Arash. Once again, Ottawa taking over with Zibanejad. Speaking so well tonight. And so intercepted that time by Hubert Owen. He got it out and down inside the line, giving chase. Jimmy Hayes got in there against CC. And couldn't handle the puck. It got to the blue line where Campbell was waiting. Backhanded the puck in around the net. Ottawa just trying to cover up in there now with a two goal lead. Bobby Ryan got up as far as the blue line. Did manage to poke it in a little deeper. They were trying to make changes. Brian Campbell flipped the pass ahead, knocked down quite well by Hayes. Pass got behind him. Jumped in around the net. Florida trying to get one back anyway. Really close on the short side, but not a shot. Hammond was on the post. There's no room given at all. And Pondra lifted the puck down the ice. Pasho set it up in front for Lazar. Set up. They may go upstairs here, Bob. Looks like they're right. Was this puck batted into the net? Luongo thinks it was. Great play by Pajor. Already got Lazar. I think that's a good goal, but we'll have to see. Here comes the shot. Well, interesting. He slid into the goalie and it took Luongo out. And I'm not sure they're going to count this, Bob. What Luongo is saying right away, watch. He's saying, how can I play it? Yeah, he absolutely. Hit the... There's where he says. Lazar was tripped up, however, going to the net there. So this momentum just kept going to the net. And he went to the net with the puck. Now what's happening now is our professional people in Toronto were looking at this. Luongo decides that it should be looked at anyway because he says, I couldn't move, I couldn't play it, I was bumped. What he is saying, is that a hand pass at the end of that play before the puck went into that? That's the only thing they can review here. And let's have a look at the hand. I don't think can't tell from that angle. You gotta think he won't be, <laughs> be pretty tough to do that. I don't even think he's looking at the puck. It's a good goal called on the ice. From my angle, that's going to be a good goal, but they're going to take their time on it. They're doing that all right. There you see the officials talking to Toronto. His official with good goal on the ice. TJ Luxmore has the microphone and he has the announcement. After review, the call on the ice is confirmed. The puck deflects into the net in a legal fashion. An illegal fashion. Yeah, that's that's a, a goal. They were looking to see if it was batted in the net with the hand. That's the only thing they could go upstairs for, Ed. From this angle here. Yeah, that's a good goal. He's tripped up, he went to the net, and everybody went to the net. 12 the puck. is the time of the goal. And it makes it a 4-1 lead for the Ottawa Senators over the Florida Panthers. And only 7.40 left to play in the third period now. Condor broke loose. Right in front of a little backhander by Lazar. And the one goal stopped that on the short side. Flipped down the ice through center. Batted down by Boland, but he couldn't move very far. Turning back, Shane O'Brien shot the pass ahead, might have to do it again as Petrovic turned back all the way. Now he slides it ahead on that far side. People were changing 
And it's okay. It hits somebody going off, but the play had been called. The puck going out of play at the Ottawa bench. Well, Lazar's having a tough time scoring. It's a big one for him. But let's remember this Hammond save moments ago. This could have been 3 2. And he robs Kropeski there. And then a nice play by McKenzie. Good read by the goaltender Hammond. And he's quite a story, isn't he? At 27 years of age, his journey to the National Hockey League, playing as a 20 year old in the BCGHL, then going on a scholarship playing his duties with the minors and then staring all the way down the ice to one of the players he idolized as Hammond grew up in Vancouver watching Roberto Luongo. What a story. 12.08 was the time of that fourth goal of the evening for Ottawa. Azar's third of the season from Paggio and Contra. And now we got a penalty to the Ottawa Senators. Shea songs in the box. And there is the high stick. Face off. One by Florida up near the blue line. Bukestad waits for the pass. It goes the other way from Ekblad to the boards. Bukestad open. Pass. It was intercepted right in front of him. And he couldn't knock it down. 6.40 remaining in the third. 4-1 lead for the Senators. Took a funny bounce off the extension back there, but cleared to the line. And the Sens dump it down the ice. Leg one turns and goes off after that clearing play. Panthers start up. Straight to center ice. Ekblad on the right side and cutting in in a hurry is Bullen. Can't make anything work in there. Pajot scooped it out to center ice. Shots are 34-20 in favor of Ottawa in the game. They have four goals on the board. Shot into the zone by Thomas Pleasant. He sends her all back, and they'll cover now back in their own zone. CeCe on the boards. Got it loose and played it ahead, and Pajot, great penalty killer, dumps it down the ice. Not big, but he's so fast. Good hands on the puck. He's gone for the change. Played back in over the line to Jokinen, left it right there, and that's going to be broken up easily. And cleared away by McCollum. He decides to head for the net. The shot is stopped by Luongo and cleared out. Down the ice for Brad Boys. Got in over the line, carried on to the corner. Got it loose again, back to the blue line. And Campbell delivers a pass the other way. That shot is stopped, and Hammond gets a hand as he allows no rebound again. Hammond may have the net for a while as Leonard's out with a concussion. Still. And Anderson, of course, with the blocker hand in. So you got some very inexperienced goaltending at the moment for the Ottawa Senators against tonight, the other end. A player that's probably going to be in the Hall of Fame at some point in Roberto Luongo. Chiasson has 13 seconds. Remaining in his minor penalty. Condra, along with Pajot, assisted on the fourth goal scored by Lazar. Condra now has a four-game point streak. A goal, five points. The long goal out of the net, just clearing the puck aside and hollering to his guys to get it going. It's not done yet. McKenzie is flying in again. Got the puck deep, went in after it. No pass was made. Chiasson backed up against the boards. Stays right there fighting for it against Upshaw. And the Sens get it out. Zabanajad missed it. It got down the ice anyway. And Upshaw got a stick on it, but he didn't move it very far. Heads off to the bench on the chain. 4.30 remaining in the third period. But Florida is done here, and it won't get any easier. For Leaving here immediately after the game for Pittsburgh, where they meet the Penguins tomorrow. There's a Benajad again, dropping it back. Up and shot is stopped by the long goal. Cleared outside the blue line. Well, that was saying it doesn't get easier, I'll say not. Back to back then with Chicago. One in Chicago and then at home. Hammond came out of the net, nearly lost the puck at the side of the goal. 
Hoffman missed it. However, it's okay as Leguan picked it up and went on. Put the shot on. The rebound was right there for him. He was check skating by it, goal. Under four minutes left to play in the third. Hammond playing solidly again for Ottawa. Got to 37 by Ottawa and 21 by Florida now. Fleischman just coming in on the four check. Campbell followed up. Fleischman has the puck. Can't control it. Through his skates. And he lost possession. Puck rolls down inside that Florida line. That's Fleischman. Gave it up to Jokinen. Dropped it back. Three minutes, five seconds remaining. In regulation, they're on side of the line. Nice play. The pass goes in to Jokinen from Bukestad. He was checked. And the Sens get going again. Turris got it out. Pollock will pick it up and bang it inside that line. In deep. Bukestad back. Can't move it very far. He'll try it again from behind the net. Stick handled out front and lost it. Panthers get the puck in control. It'll be Ekblad who'll shoot it out to center ice. Nobody can move on it. When indeed, Eukstad stayed with it and lost it back there. And the Sens just happy to clear it out to center. Two minutes, 15 seconds remaining. Hamper brought it in, might get a shot. Bad angle though, put it on. Rebound right there, but nobody could get to it. Carlson swings it out again and gets it down the ice. That's Pajot up first. Into the corner it goes. Pajot and Lazar. Out to Carlson, looks back. There's the pass. The shot is on, Luongo made the save. Eric Condra. He lost it. Taken by Lazar, looks back. Condor didn't see the pass, it went behind him. 140 left. Third period. This one about Duncan. Yeah, and you talk about Florida, Bob. Pittsburgh's actually playing in St. Louis tonight. And that's a tough game for them. And a longer travel than Florida will have to get to Pittsburgh. So a bit of a break for Florida tomorrow night. Pretty good move by Jared Cowan. Doing a 360 with a puck. Carried on. Leguan picks it up. And the long goal makes yet another stop. So Florida will charter right out. They'll probably get into Pittsburgh just after midnight. Meanwhile, the Penguins in St. Louis. That's a long, long travel night for them. And a much more emotional game. So Gallant, although he can't be happy with his team's performance, at least in a back-to-back -back situation, the team he's playing tomorrow night, the opponent, although it's still Pittsburgh, he may have a bit of an edge in terms of travel. Bit of a long drive to the airport from here, too, and they tell us it's still snowing outside the building. Hopefully everybody travels carefully. After this hockey game, one one lead lead here, 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 in the final minute, just announced puck auto play. Shots are 39 22 in favor of Ottawa. And a pretty good game tonight. Yeah, a good game for Ottawa. It's been all Ottawa throughout this contest. Defensively, they've been hit. Carlson again with the big goal to give the team a two goal cushion. I really like Tourist tonight a lot. Thought he had a good night. McCulloch and Stone, that line was excellent. Ed, the coach, is going to be a little happier because he's going to get a lobster dinner, by the sounds of it, from the opposing coach at some point this summer in PEI. Edward Island and snow it in again. A lot of places snowed in. Been brutal in Boston. Cold Eastern Seaboard. Puck high. Nobody saw it. Florida cannot play it. They do. And the whistle sounds. But they were telling me, Gerard was telling me, 
It actually his wife is in PEI right now, and there's so much snow that some of the houses, when you open the garage door, it's a wall of snow, and they've actually dug tunnels to their cars. <laughs> he said he's... Apparently, they haven't seen that much snow for years and years and years, Bob, in PEI. Good old days. Lots of snow. Well, it's winter, and we're in Canada, so don't complain. Enjoy it. 26 seconds remaining. Third period in Ottawa. 4-1, and the Sens are going to win this hockey game. Shots are 39 for Ottawa, 22 by Florida. And Andrew Hammond is going to chalk up his second win. Defeated Montreal the other night. Now the Florida Panthers tonight. Petrovic left the puck back there. O'Brien brought it on, gave it back. Petrovic, tough pass to handle. That's deflected out of play. Seven seconds left, the shots in the third period. Ottawa had 14 and Florida half that number, seven. Goals by Carlson and Lazar broke it open. And that time of year, isn't it? There's the general manager, Dale Talon, the Florida Panthers, former teammate, terrific person, done a great job here in Florida, rebuilding this team, and not happy right now, but working as Blackberry is, the trade deadline is around the corner. He's got a young team, and more youngsters coming. The big tickets. Here's the horn, this one is done. So a 4-1 win for Ottawa.